Ugly's review. I've also messed up my back, so I'm just gonna be doing some forearm exercises during this. So Ugly's is the newest Netflix movie that's just come out. I'm gonna talk about the movie a bit first without spoilers, but then I'm gonna pretty much go into the entire plot. So the movie starts off, you get a bit of exposition about the world. It's in the future, dystopian. The Rusties, who are pretty much meant to be us, um, have destroyed the world through fossil fuels. And now in the future, they've made a new renewable energy source in these flowers. Even then, war still happened. And they came to the conclusion that if everyone was pretty, there would be no more wars. <laughs> so now, society operates with uglies and pretties. So when you turn 16, you get a life-altering pretty surgery and you live happily ever after being a pretty person. So our main character is an ugly and she's got a best friend who's also an ugly and they're anxiously awaiting their big surgery. And her friend knows, gets it done first and they make a promise that he'll come see her, I believe in one month and shock he doesn't. And from here, you pretty much follow our character trying to find out the truth of the world, trying to become who she wants to be, but then also rediscovering herself. The movie is very similar to Divergent in some ways, although I think it is worse in pretty much every way. But to give you a kind of idea of the setting and the type of movie it is, it's like Divergent. Spoiler warning. So now I'm gonna talk about the actual plot of the movie and what I thought of it and kind of break it down a little bit. So from the very beginning, you kind of get the idea that this whole beauty surgery thing can't all be as good as it sounds. When her mate doesn't come and she goes over to visit the pretty side to go see him, it's very obvious that there's something wrong with these people. And then conveniently, when she needs to make her escape, another ugly helps her out with, on a hoverboard. Also, the hoverboard scenes in this movie, the CGI is very bad. But yeah, they escape and you find out this girl has the same birthday as her, so they're gonna have the surgery on the same day. Very exciting. However, this friend kind of introduces our main character to this whole new way of thinking because they've been programmed pretty much to think this way the whole life that you gotta live until you're pretty and then when you get the pretty surgery, everything's happy and that's it. But you kind of find out that there's this secret group of people called the Smoke that have been living life pretty much the way we do today. This isn't the best exercise, by the way, but it's, it's a rumor, like no one believes it exists. Although it does, shock. Nothing is really shocking in this movie. Everything's very obvious. <laughs> following through the story and we reach this point where her friend has taken her to this spot to show her a secret and she reveals to her that she never wants to take the surgery she's going to do the smoke but she's like no i want the surgery i want to be pretty blah 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 it's asking the big question should you be pretty or should you live a happy life obviously you can't have both so then her friend leaves and then she goes to have a pretty surgery but what she doesn't get it shock they've found out her friend's gone to the smoke and the big bad is in charge Obviously, you know, she has a connection, so they're using her to get through with the smoke. And then she somehow does this journey all by herself, which apparently no one's done before. And don't get me wrong, it was a perilous journey, but there's no way no one's done that before. So now she's on like a covert mission because she's been told there's a weapon of mass destruction um, that they're building to try and wipe out all the pretties who she still thinks she's one of. But she comes to find out the pretties are actually brainwashing people. Shock, I feel like everyone would have guessed that by this point. There was no mystery at all. And that the beauty surgery causes lesions in the brain, which is making them have dull thoughts and they can just be basically be programmed. And this is how they're controlling people. It's not that everyone's on an equal standard of beauty. It's just that they can't think. But she comes to fall in love with one of the guys at the smoke and she recognizes what they're doing is real and she's revealed the truth of the world and the flowers they made for self-sustaining energy are actually just draining the earth of the resources. So it kind of didn't even make sense why they would make those flowers because the whole point was trying to replace something that was killing the earth, but now they're still doing it. It doesn't really make sense. And you find out that the, the weapon that was being developed was actually a cure for the lesions in the brain. So they were actually trying to improve people's lives, but no. I was going into this not knowing this was meant to be a setup for another movie, if that will even happen. The last like bunch happened so quick because they, they all got captured because even though she didn't want to help the pretties anymore, her tracker went off, brought them all to them, and then they all got captured. But then almost immediately she releases them all again. But her friend got the pretty surgery and now they're all like, oh no. But they break him out and they escape and they happen to escape with the one thing they needed to complete the antidote to the problem. However, because the friend underwent surgery without giving consent and the pretty version of them can't give consent. There's like, oh no, how are we gonna test this? So then our main character says, I'll test it. I'll get the pretty surgery and I give consent beforehand. So they do that and then she becomes all pretty, but you can see the scar on her hand from the start. So she still has a bit of a tour somehow. And then the movie ends. I did not know it was just ending. And also her friend from the beginning looks like he's dead, but he's like a super pretty. So I highly doubt he's dead. I thought there were a lot of interesting things that could have been explored, like is 
I forgot the main villain's name, but are they the only person in control? Because we didn't see a single other person from the pretty faction that actually had any way of thinking for themselves. What's the rest of the world like? This is the only place we saw. A lot of things weren't answered that could have been somewhat interesting. It was, it was poor. Like, just watch Divergent if you want a story like this. I could see this being something you put on in the background. It's a background movie for sure, but you're not gonna really think too hard when you're watching this. I feel like watching this movie made me dumber overall. That being said, you might find this to be a, a fun bad watch. Again, this is just my opinion. Can't really recommend it. If I had to give it a rating, Uglies on Netflix gets up. Three sexes. Point. Five forearm curls. 3.5. TLDR, Uglies on Netflix. Not a great movie in my opinion. Shoddy CGI at times. Not a big deal though. Plot, very obvious. No shock at all. And a lot of just weird writing choices. May have butchered the adaptation. I don't know what the book was like. But yeah, 3.5 I think I said. I am actually having a saxophone lesson this afternoon right after I finished filming this. So I'll tell you about from here. Thank you very much. I almost forgot to mention, this main character has got knees of steel. Some of the base jumping feats you'll see in this, insane. I could not believe it with my own eyes. 